There is no real way of avoiding this news story. A former reporter shot a fellow reporter and a cameraman live in air and eventually killed them. At this time, people are already debating about what the real issue is. Do we need more gun control? Is gun control going to help? Is it a racism issue? Is it a LGBT issue? Are video games and the media involved? Basically, there's a whole debate about what's recently happened, as there usually is. But for some reason now, Gamergate has been dragged into this. A news report said that um, through a tweet, yes, I mean it through a fucking tweet, Bruce Williams was a noted Gamergate supporter. And this is all through a tweet, no actual evidence showing his Twitter page that he was a Gamergate supporter or anything, just through one tweet. But there were already people like Sarah Littman who were already using this for their fucking political agenda and just trying to run into this saying, oh, look how he was a Gaming Gate supporter. You should take these threats to women seriously now because he was this supporter. Let me just ask you just a question. Um, let's say he is a supporter. Let's say that this is actually accurate that he's a supporter. Why does him being a Gaming Gate supporter be relevant to what he's done? Oh, let me take you this to an example. Let's say a feminist goes into a building and blows it up or or, sh or starts shooting at them, at people, um, and kills innocent lives. She's been shown to having unstable uh, mentally, and she's pretty fucked up enough to do this. So should the fact that her being a feminist be taken into account over her crimes? And let's not forget that the author of the Scum Manifesto, Valerine Solana, I'm not sure if I got that right, was sentenced to three years in prison, where she only said one, because she tried to kill people, mainly men, and she was a feminist. Should we take that into account when we take into consideration if we should be feminist or not? Because people are too dumb to realize that it's not just one person who speaks for the entire fucking movement, it's the whole movement as a whole that should be the voice. This is why I hate this modern day feminism, is because I find so much of the vocal majority is just of an excuse to spew hate towards others and just claim it's for the right of equality. That's why I hate that fucking modern day feminism. But because of this one person that's saying, oh, he was a Game Against supporter, that's, that's, that just shows that he's, he's evil or something like that. Look, even if he was a Game Against supporter, I don't think Game Against would support his accents. And of course, there's the other debacle that, you know, his accents were very eerie to an actual video game. And he actually did play video games or something. Um, because he filmed himself doing the shooting and he held the gun in a way that is very, very similar to Doom or any first person shooter. I'm not going to deny that is the case. But I should be able to win the Formula 1 Grand Prix despite the fact that I can't drive. And I should also be able to win the WWE World Heavyweight Championship despite not physically being able to wrestle. Because I've played racing games and wrestling games. You see, they, video games might help us with our reflexes and maybe help with anger issues and help us calm down, but they don't teach us how to drive cars or become wrestling champions or fucking shoot guns. If video games caused violence, if gamers were as violent as, e violent as everyone makes them out to be, then there would be so many more deaths. There would be so many more murders. And I suppose games that make people violent would not have been sold. The fact of the matter is, a reporter and cameraman are dead. They were only doing something they were passionate about. And it sickens me that someone would kill two people who wanted to bring the world to the TV. No crew member should ever feel scared for their lives for making a news report or a movie or whatever. We are so focused on trying to point the blame at something that we are missing what the real issue is. And we should be focusing on that and trying to prevent it from happening as frequent. We should be able to focus on what the real issue is and trying to control that to prevent more of these happening. But with the way that the world has become, I doubt we'll get there anytime soon. And that's just what I think the reality is.